There's a man we may talk about a few times this season. Tim Tebow, the Florida Gators star quarterback who did it all. An incredible sophomore season, first sophomore ever to win the Heisman Trophy. What leads us to this conversation, who will win the Heisman Trophy this year? Much is said that Tim Tebow will not be running the ball as much. Therefore, experts like the three gentlemen sitting next to me believe he will not win the Heisman Trophy. His offensive stats won't be incredible like they were last year. So if not Tebow, hmm. should we look for maybe Ohio State, a team we haven't mentioned yet in the show to have a player? Well, I think you should, but I think you start with Chris Wells. I mean, an outstanding running back. Obviously has the ability between the tackles, a lot of speed. You see the stiff arm there, but that's really what it's about for him. The power between the tackles, 1,600 yards rushing last year. An outstanding player is Chris Wells. No, Sean Marina. I know I said Georgia would not win the SEC, but I think this young man has an excellent chance at winning the Heisman Trophy. I mean, look at this. His numbers for freshmen are second only to the great Herschel Walker. He has the vision. He has the burst out of his cuts. I love the way he runs the rock. Well, to win the Heisman, you got to be a flashy player on a good team playing quality opponents, and Texas Tech Graham Harrell, the quarterback, does just that. Last year, at 5,700 yards and 48 touchdowns and was a 70% accurate passer. He's going to be Mike Leach's reason why the Red Raiders make the noise in the Big 12. How about Pat White? Come on, Aaron Taylor. Taylor, look at this guy right here. Great versatility. Of course, he can run the ball, gets to the outside. Bill Stewart says he wants to throw the ball a little no. bit. Will he be able to stay healthy? That's the whole key for Pat White, but obviously has the ability both with his feet and his arm. Well, this freshman phenom from last season, Regis Ben, big number nine. He had some health problems this spring, a little shoulder injury. They say he came back from that, was diving for balls. So he should be fine heading to this season. Look for him to make big noise as a receiver, but also in the return game. One touchdown last year, averaged almost 30 yards per return. Mm. Speaking of big noise from a small player, how about Missouri's Chase Daniel? 33 touchdowns last year, over 4,300 yards. He needs to be flashing, and that spread offense in Missouri and the noise they made last year, keep your eye on Chase Daniel. Besides, guys, he's got Jeremy Macklin to throw the ball to his human highlight film. Incredible. We have six other guys we should mention, and these incredible talented players. Sam Bradford, he's a redshirt sophomore. What a redshirt freshman season he had. Rudy Carpenter, Arizona State. Michael Crabtree, can you have a better freshman season? He's back. Grothy Harper, and we have to throw a defensive guy in there. James Please Warnitis. do that. And you want to mention Dan, Dan Lefevre of Central Michigan. How about this? Tim Tebow Light accounted for 46 touchdowns last year. Central Michigan. I'm just saying. I love you right now. Central Michigan. <laughs>